Welcome to Shop Talk. Shop Talk's something we was always going to put into Boogie Tech. It's just now we're starting to add it in. And what Shop Talk's all about is like when you was a kid and you went with your granddad or your dad to the barber shop on Saturday morning, and man, you just, there was no subject off limits, politics, <laughs> this, that, the whole nine yards. That's what Shop Talk's all about. Today, on the very first episode of Shop Talk, I've got Wayne Celeste, which is a very good friend of mine. He's did a bunch of engine work for me over the years. He still does. We work together building race engines. Um, he's just badass. And what we're going to, and he's drag raced a lot of years too. And what we're going to talk about today is I had a question given to me just the other day online. And a, a guy I know is building a gasser mm -hmm. up north. And, and he's going to build it and run a heads up series, some, head, some heads up series. And he was asking me, was the boogeyman, did the boogeyman have a staggered axle, front axle in it? And I'm going, what the hell is he talking about? And some places are letting you stagger the front axle like an inch. And I'm thinking, well, that's a driver's aid. Who in the hell would build a gasser and stagger the front axle? Because to me, you kind of defeat the purpose of old school driver, machine, badass, light cutting shit. If you stagger yeah. that, because that's kind of like, it, I mean, you're no bracket yeah, racer. Well, that's that's not what thing. bracket racer did. did it in, when we built our bracket car, we had it staggered one inch. You could leave earlier on the light, get the momentum going. Plus, you got the reaction time and the momentum. So, you know, it worked out best on both ends. So, but to me, is that not defeating the purpose of work? Like, when hey, I built the boogeyman. When it's heads up, yeah. it's you, that car, and the other car in the other lane. Well, I know, I, I get that. I mean, I know the pro mods are done like it because their reactions are so fast, they have to to keep them red light. Well, not right. always understood. I get that 3,000 horsepower, 4,000 horsepower. Right. But when you're building a gasser, and the guy asked me my opinion, and I told him, I said, listen, man, if you're going to build a gasser, and the whole part of building a gasser is just getting that damn experience of it being the 60s, and it's man, machine, you know, it ain't supposed to be about all this fancy shit. It's supposed to be about That's how right. good can I drive the car? How good can I build this car? And to me, if you stagger the axle in your gasser today, you'll know driving You just, you what go. are you doing? You need to be, go buy you one of them little practice trees. I got one. I got it on the clutch pedal and the <laughs> damn gas pedal in the car, and I practice all the time. Do that, but don't be a and move the axle. That's right. I mean, really? That's, That's right. That is defeating the purpose of having a 60s era gasser mm -hmm. to put that kind of in it. I don't get it, but you know, I told the guy my opinion, if he wants to do it, them rules allow him and that association to do it, so be it. But in my opinion, you are no driving if you do. Well, you know, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got well, I mean, I got it. And I'm sure, like it I'm not, sure this is going to piss some people off, and I'm not trying to piss no people no. off. This is not targeted at nobody. If you're, it's like this. If somebody out there watches this has got their axle stacked, all right, I'm not mad at you. Put it back right and learn to drive the thing. Mm, I mean, that's go. just, a, that's all that's it is right. at the end of the day. That's I mean, right. don't get, if you're mad at me for saying this, you're probably one of them got your axle stacked. <laughs> now, that's just the way I feel about it. That's right. Thank you, man, for coming by Shop Ain't Talk. no problem. See I enjoyed this. Yeah, man. <laughs>
if you're building a hot rod or a gasser and you're looking for some vintage wheels and you're scouring the internet and you're like, man, I've been trying to find me some, hook me up with some slots or some magnesium wheels. You need to know how to measure this because it's not like you would think. In a machine shop, everything's measured center to center. Well, the wheel industry don't do it that way. The wheel industry on a standard five lug system, which is this five lug pattern here, you're going to hook the stud, skip a stud, and read to the center of the third stud. That's four and a half. So what that is is a five on four and a half inch wheel pattern. Your Chevrolets are like five on four and three quarters. That's for the cars anyway. So always remember, you got to talk their language when you're ordering their wheels or they're going to send you the wrong wheel. Chris Dunn, tip of the day.